Hi. So this is collaboration between me and Chris Schneider. This is our two paintings side by side. The challenge was to create about around about 50% negative space and use similar colours, which I will go into now. And if you haven't subscribed to Chris's channel, give it a go. Um, I'll put the link up in the corner there. She's a very talented artist and um, I think we have very similar styles. So it's a good collaboration to do. As you can see, both paintings look absolutely beautiful. So, this is my background colour, which is a homemade mixture of dark blue, I'm calling it dark navy. It is um, a mixture of PBO 56 uh, Prussian blue, but it's also got black in there, it's also got silver in there, it's got a right old mix. Um, as I said in my previous video, or perhaps it'd be my next video, who knows? Um, I'm using up dregs of paint, so each colour has a mix of um, different hues to get the quantity that I want. Um, and in here, you'll see this is the Prussian blue just mixed it up so it's quite bubbly at the moment lovely thickness so it's kind of falls straight off forms a little mound and then goes so I want to try and achieve a two-tone negative space so come back to that in a sec I have burnt umber light by Golden I have very well used here Sargent's liquid copper and that's upside down because I'm trying to get the dregs to go into the lid so I can use for embellishing pores. This is a mix of this baby here which I don't really like but I'm trying to use it up little by little um, and the Doecraft Metallic Antique Gold. These are brilliant. So that's a mixture in there of those two colours. Then I have Homemade Orange. What is it? It's those little Hobbycraft Orange. Um, they're their own brand of cheap cheapest chips paint mixed with PBO fluorescent orange but probably about 70-30 I have Golden's uh, what's that yellow ochre yeah there I might not use that don't know and then I have my iridescent pearl fine so those are my colours that I think I'm going to be using <laughs> Still trying to work it out in my head. So yeah, let's go get in. Go in. Okay, so I've got a slightly different setup today because I have a painting drying just over there. So you're looking at this side on. So this is a um, Windsor and Newton 20 by 50 centimetre canvas, just a small long canvas, found it in the back of the cupboard. <coughs> And you'll see, I've already gone round the edges of my camp, so I don't always do it. Sometimes a little bit lazy. Um, but today I have. And you can see, I've just roughly um, split my canvas into three. So I'm working on the rule of thirds, really. And my aim, the picture I have in my head, is negative space two-thirds but that negative space is split into dark and light so I think we're going to go light to dark or shall I go dark to light not sure and then here is going to be a swipe with balloon rolls for kind of like leaves and then smashes for flowers sounds complicated doesn't it but then 
I always overcomplicate things. So, let's get going. So I think for contrast, I am going to go with the darker to the lighter. Yes, yes. I know this is covered in paint now. Can you see it? I have had this over a year and I have not filled it up. And it comes with about six canisters. So you buy the top and you screw it onto the canister. Really, really good. Right. So, my swipe colours. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm getting another cup. Some silicone cups. These um, came a little while ago as well. Wash them, reuse them. So I'm going to mix from my swipe colours the burnt umber, the copper together because I am trying to create depth in my pores with the backgrounds being darker um, and the foregrounds being lighter. So let's just add black in there. I'm running so low on supplies, it's ridiculous. I don't have... Oh, I know what I can put in. I've got some black. So to this mixture, this is just the burnt umber and the copper mixed together. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of the Doe Crafts, uh, this is the metallic black. It's very fluid, so it's a little bit like adding a squirt of golden. That's better. So I have a quite a dark, mucky colour now. It's exactly what I wanted. I always second guess myself sometimes. It's not easy. So there's that. Then I'm going to go in with the copper. Then I'm going to go in with just a little bit of gold. I really don't want to be using very much of this at all. just now. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter burnt umber. And I'm going to leave the orange, just put a little bit of pearl through there. Maybe a bit more gold. Okay, give that torch. Are you still recording? Yeah. Do you know, you have to be yourself on YouTube, and this is me. 
can't be like anybody else. Lay your paper towel down. Just give that a minute. Let's go for more copper. Okay. Copper. Put more gold, I think. dark umber. I'm going to leave that there till just now. Got a little bit of gold. You'll see why in a minute. But I'm actually going to swipe from here. So now I'm going to take my Charlie chicken, <laughs> fat chicken, and I'm just going to do some leaf effects. I wish actually I had some more the darker in there. Mm. Anyway. Shall I swipe again? I just want to bring some of this dark umber down. Put you down there. So just bringing that dark umber and that gold and the copper up into that negative space. Without losing too much of the negative space, I hasten to add. Okay, leave that. So I'm going to start off with the really like this dark burnt umber here. Two, 
three, four, and that do. I'm going to go with my lovely pearl just for some contrast. And then I'm going to go with my orange. Do I want to put some gold in there as well? Just a little tad, eh? Just a little tad. Whoops. Let's just put one up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the blown up glove, and I'm just going to start off in the middle there, just press down lightly, wipe it off, press down lightly, wipe it off. There's quite a lot of paint on this canvas. Which, oh, how did I do that? Idiot. Oh, I can see I've done it with the, done it with the, ah, uh, uh, the fingers. It's okay, we can come back from this. I'm talking some way to myself. So I've just got a paper towel and I'm just wiping the balloon off each time, like so. So obviously, I've just done that. Let's try and fix it. Let's try and fix that. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but if, you know, this is what happens in fluid art. Again, shall we? Right, I'm going to keep hold of my fingers and my glove. What an idiot I am.
steps. Where from? Let's do this one here. I only like to do a couple. I don't like to do very many. Here we go. So let's go close. Oh, glare. I've been muttering away to myself while I'm doing this, so probably have to play some music and speed it up because you don't want to listen to me muttering. Managed to cover up that little accident I had with the fingers of the glove. Lesson learnt there. Which is a shame, but hopefully that bit, the swipe will dry dark, but then the flowers will pop up. And then we've got the darker blue going to the lighter blue up there. Which probably would be better if it was just all dark but then I didn't have enough paint so you have to work with what you've got guys and um, yeah quite pleased actually stay tuned for the drive result <laughs> 